Welcome to another episode of Pistons of Fear. In this episode, we're fabbing up a complete three inch turbo back exhaust system on our 1966 Dodge Coronet station wagon. Okay, so in this episode, we are starting on the full length exhaust system for the 1966 Dodge Coronet LS Turbo Mopar Swap, all that stuff. Um, what we're doing is basically three inch all the way from the turbo straight out the back. Um, not doing any kind of fender exit, anything like that. I will have a, um, a loud valves, so a vacuum actuated diaphragm that comes right off the dump pipe and does exit somewhere here under the front wheel. Um, but that's going to be under high boost only. So for the most part, this car will be street driven. We'll keep it under 20 pounds, something like that. And the exhaust is gonna go out the back. Um, we're gonna do nice vibrant muffler, um, probably run two resonators, keep it really nice and quiet. I don't want a loud car. Um, I wanna be actually be able to drive this thing, not wake up the neighbors, all that good stuff. And I wanna hear the turbo noises, don't wanna hear the exhaust. Um, so for that, we've got a V-band that comes down off of my downpipe. Um, so what we're going to do is basically just weld the other side of that. We're going to start building from the V-band back. Um, so the first piece of the puzzle is this flex joint. So just three inch flex joints, vibrant, uh, good stuff. Should stay intact for, for a while, good while. Um, have some leftover bends from my downpipe fab. So we're going to reuse some of that. I have these um, hangers. I, I forget who makes them. I think it's Walker. They're just standard rubber. Um, they leverage an existing bolt, ideally, or you can fab up your own mount for them. Um, basically, you can just bend these in a vise and a hammer, or heat it up however you want to bend it, and get this to kind of just bend and hold the exhaust. And they're rubber, so we're not doing anything fancy. These are also super cheap. They're like $2 a piece, so you can't, can't beat it as far as pricing goes. Um, other key to the puzzle. This is a Porsche 911 um, catalytic converter. Now I'm actually fortunate this one is, is actually California certified. This is probably like a three or four hundred dollar piece. Uh, bought it off eBay for 85 bucks. Some guy test fitted it to his 911. I guess didn't like it, just wanted to offload it. So his loss, my gain. It's a three inch performance cat. Um, this is designed to basically go right out the back of a 911. If, you, if you're familiar with, with Porsche and how their engines are set up, this would basically just be sitting right under the rear bumper. And this, this is kind of like a, it's like a flattened, three inch exhaust. So what I'm gonna do is actually just cut it off right here. I'll be reusing the cat forward in my exhaust system up here. And then I'll probably just reuse this tip. This is a nice stainless tip. And we're just gonna put it right um, right out the back on the side. So two for one for me. Um, I get a stainless flattened tip and a super high flow cat that's been used once just as a test fit. So super cool, pretty excited about this. It's actually really hard to get catalytic converters shipped to California. Um, unless you buy a carb certified cat, which I really didn't want to pay for for this car because if you have a 1975 or older car and you want to put just a generic, like let's say a Magnaflow high flow cat on it, nobody will ship that to you. Amazon won't, eBay won't, uh, Summit won't, none of the parts houses will actually ship a non-California certified cat to California, which is kind of a, it's really stupid because if you actually want to be responsible and put a cat on an older car, uh, can't do it unless you want to pay the, the California surcharge. So I know all you guys like complaining about California. I'm complaining a little bit, but um, still love living here and, and all that. So I'll deal with it. Anyway, got a good deal on this. Got a guy to ship me this. Uh, he was in New York, um, individual, so not a business. And it's actually California certified anyway. So win, win, win all around. Um, yeah, so first thing I need to do is throw this on the chop saw and get this tip cut off. And then we can start going under the car and mocking things up to see where they sit.
Okay, quick situational update. Um, okay, so I have the V-band clamp in there, flex pipe. I've got a tiny little, um, tiny little curve right in between the flex pipe and the V-band clamp. Um, and then here, this is pretty much just a straight piece and I'm using the flex joint. And there's a natural curve in the catalytic converter just because of the application that it was from. Um, so we're kind of curving right under this uh, main cross member here for the transmission and the torsion bars. So got it mocked up on jack stands, um, going all the way out the back, like right, right in here. We're going to have to cut that off. Um, that's where the muffler is going to go. And then going back, there's actually going to be a small resonator as we turn upward to go over the rear axle. And then we're going to do some really tight compound curves um, to get over the rear axle, under the frame rail, but between the leaf spring and the frame rail. And then I'm going to have, finally, I guess I can just move instead of pointing. Um, coming out the back, we're basically going to have a, a curve pipe that comes, it's, it's tough to see on camera, but I think it's going to work. Basically, we're going to come out here and curve up into here, and I've got this old spare tire well cut out, and we're going to tuck another muffler, another resonator, right up in this area here, and then coming out the back here, we'll just have our nice little turn down right, right here. Really subtle. It'll tuck below the bumper, not be too visible, uh, but I just want it nice and clean and a, kind of a side exit to get some of the fumes away from the rear window. So if I need to drive with that open, I don't um, carbon monoxide myself and or the passengers of the car to death. So, um, yeah, this is a good break point. I'm not going to weld in this, this full exhaust pipe just yet, even though that's, that's kind of the level I want it at. Um, if you look at it from back here, you can barely see the exhaust right below that, um, the subframe connector of the frame rail, which is kind of what I wanted. Didn't want it hanging down too low. Um, I'm on the fence about whether to paint it like the VHT flat black or silver. Um, I'll probably go black, that way it just blends in. But yeah, it's, it's kind of tucked. It's going to be the lowest part of the car, but not too much lower. It's actually higher than the transmission bell housing. So that's a win in my book. Um, yeah, pretty soaked with where it is so far. Um, just got to get those resonators and the muffler and a few more curves to finish up the back. All right, we are back under the car, finishing up the exhaust today. Um, so with any luck, I'll actually get the entire exhaust tacked into place and hopefully finish welded by the, at least the end of my weekend here. Um, so we have a, this is a stainless steel vibrant muffler um, offset on the inlet side and center on the out. Um, so what we're gonna do is kind of run that just kind of right here where um, there's this little recess behind the passenger seat um, where the stock muffler sat. So we're gonna go up and over the axle out of the muffler and then we're gonna kick it back behind the rear quarter behind the passenger side rear wheel well and we're gonna hide a little vibrant um, resonator up there. So the other part of this is I have this guy here. This is a vibrant ultra quiet resonator three inch 
just uh, straight pass through, but um, these things have pretty good reviews everywhere on the internet that you can read about them. Um, so we're going to be running that, and hopefully we'll have a pretty quiet and drivable um, turbo back exhaust system. So just going to get started fitting everything up, and we'll go from there. Okay, so quick update. Um, I prematurely tacked on half of my V-band to the muffler and uh, it just didn't align correctly. So I've got this other piece mocked up with the V-band flange on it. Um, I marked that, tack welded it. Um, but right now it will not go into the muffler. So I need to grind off the welds on the muffler and assemble the whole V-band on the muffler and then tack weld it. So. Pro tip, if you're working with V-bands on the exhaust, make sure all your pipes are assembled before you tack the V-band flanges on both sides of the exhaust that you're connecting. So, lesson learned. I feel like I've already learned this lesson, but learned it again, and hopefully I'll remember this time. Okay, quick update. Um, so I've got the exhaust pipe fabbed up over the rear axle, everything tacked into place. Um, ended up having to take the wheel off, so I have the car basically supported by a jack stand uh, on the frame with that guy, and then I'm using my floor jack and then this just to keep the axle at, at the right height so I can make sure I've got the right amount of clearance. So what I'm doing here is we're coming under the frame rail um, up into this little cavity that I've created, um, cutting out some of the spare tire well, which I'll come back in and patch up later. Um, but what I need to do now is basically orient this tube here so that I can have my, um, my resonator tucked back in there and then the downpipe, and then hopefully I can get that all tacked up today um, and be complete in terms of how the exhaust is routed, and then we're just on to final welding.
Okay, so quick update on where we are. Um, I was gonna try to use some of these extra bends that I had and try to get away with not having to buy another J-Bend from Summit, but I just didn't quite have the amount of pipe. And given that I would have had to really piece it together, it would have just required like 5X more welding. So um, got a new J-Bend, so I'm gonna cut some pieces and try to make this last little turn to my resonator. And then once we get that tacked into place, I'll do a hanger for the resonator and then we are into final welding for the exhaust system. And another update. So here's where we are. Um, have my last hanger for the muffler held in by a vice grip because I just haven't had a chance to get up there. And I actually need to just remove that so I can get up there and and mount my rib nut so I can mount that hanger finally. But vice grip is good for now, so the exhaust is completely suspended under its own mounts. Um, just a quick tour. Got everything tacked together. Um, that kind of pokes out the rear there. I've got. Um, maybe in the future some clearance issues, but this is a helper spring I have on here. I'm going to swap this out. This whole situation is getting swapped out with some actual springs that support the rear of this car. Um, so coming up over the axle, down into the muffler, V-banded right there, and then on up to the front to the, the cat flex joint and to the downpipe. Um, so next thing I have to do here is basically get under the car and try to do as much welding as I can under the car. As much as I hate welding under cars, um, that's the only way I'm going to make sure that this thing doesn't shrink and not fit correctly when I go to put it back together. So if I do at least half the welding on all these joints, um, the mounting should help keep it in place and keep it from shrinking too much or expanding or however that works. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm going to get under here, do a bunch of welding probably burn myself a whole bunch and then I can pop it off and do the finish welding off the car but yeah good progress we're almost there
Okay, so the last clip you saw was me getting this exhaust system painted. I used the VHT flat black um, high temperature exhaust paint. Um, came out pretty well. Um, you can kind of see uh, like right here, I've got a clamp and I actually had to cut off um, the, after I painted of course in, in true YouTuber fashion, um, had to cut off the mount that I made and make a more vertical, vertically oriented mount. Um, basically the, the system was just putting too much stress on the mount pivot point and it was rotating down which caused the entire exhaust system to rotate down. The muffler was out of, wasn't straight, looked sloppy, so I redid that. And um, when I take everything off of here, when I take the transmission off, um, I've got to paint that cross member anyway that I made. So I need to, um, I'll just basically do like a, probably a threaded hole to, um, to mount that mount in there. Um, but anyway, back from the downpipe, we've got, again, as a recap, the flex joint, um, we've got a V-band on the downpipe, got a catalytic converter here, straight three inch all the way back to this vibrant, um, I think ultra flow or what stainless steel, quiet flow, whatever, whatever their muffler is. Um, used to be stainless steel or it still is stainless steel polished, um, under the black coating. Um, let's see. Then we have our, another V-band right here. We've got, a up and over the axle and then at the rear of the car which is probably going to be poorly lit um, we actually have the um, the vib vibrant resonator here um, and a little three inch downturn tip um, it's actually sitting a little bit lower it'll probably sit just a, a bit higher um, so you won't be able to see it from the bottom of the car but basically i just came up here over the rear spring um, should have enough clearance don't expect any interference there um, but yeah I, I really wanted to put the resonator back here this was really the only place to put it um, so yeah pretty happy with how it turned out uh, exhaust systems are a ton of work I had no idea how much time it took to, to build one of these the right way um, I could have hacked together but I really wanted to do this the right way and um yeah so only other note is this paint actually requires um curing which i can't do right now so i'm just gonna have to be really careful around it when i'm working around it um until i get a chance to start the car and get that thing cured so um next up i've got to take some uh not take some i've got to do some more modifications to the hot side in the engine compartment and route the wastegate so more welding fun ahead with tubing um Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. I uh, hope you enjoy the content. Feel free to drop me any comments or questions um, in the comment section. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.